Hi guys, Sakla Kamid. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how I is. I'm going to show you how to uh, clone yourself just as I've done there. So uh, let's get stuck in and I'll show you how that's done in DaVinci Resolve. Okay guys, so here we are. So uh, guys, let me just uh, talk you through the uh, process first. So uh, all I basically did here was uh, I made a, a video clip. So the camera has to be in one position so all i did basically was uh, i sat in front of there's two sofas here so on one sofa i just sort of like sat down here and i just played with my phone and then what i actually did on the uh, second now watch this clip as i go forward you can see here i stand up i stand back up and then i sit on the uh, second sofa again just playing with my phone so just remember guys so just make one scene and then just swap positions so make sure this is done in one scene so then you've got two clips to uh, you know play around with so that's the first thing and also uh, make sure that the camera doesn't uh, move out of position because otherwise it's not gonna look realistic so yeah so that's the first thing guys what you need to do so once you've uh, got your scene and then basically all you do is all you do is where uh, find out where you want to start so here you can see i'm sat down here so just before i get up here where is it gone so yeah so just before i get up just over there what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna make a cut so i'm just gonna make a cut there and then I'm going to basically forward it, forward the bit where I'm about to sit down in the second position. So about there. So then I'm going to put a cut there. And then I just get rid of this uh, space here because I don't really uh, need that any longer. So now you've got two clips to work with. So then all you got to do is, I mean, unless you're talking... Unless it's a talking scene, whereas this this is just a silent one. So if if it's a silent one, then you don't really need these uh, bottom two here. So you just delete them because I'm not talking. I'm not actually uh, saying anything. So just bear with me a second. I'm just going to get rid of that. So there. So now I've got my two clips here. And then the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring one on top of the other. So let's just say I'm going to bring this one on top. And this is a bit, yeah. I'm going to bring this on top there. So now you can see we've got two uh, clips. So make sure you click the top, the top one in my case. So this one here, so I'm going to click this one make sure i'm on the top one then i need to go into the color panel so once i'm in the uh, color panel i right click go on add alpha output and then i join the blue dots here so there now once i'm once i'm actually there then what you gotta do is just make sure you're at the start there I forgot to mention that make sure you're at the start then once you go in the, into the color panel what you gotta do is then click this uh, so you see this guy here right, where is it gone sorry so you click this uh, this window here where the picture of a magic mask there and then what you gotta do is uh, click this see that pen tool there with the plus then all we're going to do basically is just put a mark down there so it tracks the subject that's where it is now notice the notice the hand there if you see any bits missing you just go like this you can always add them after so don't worry about that so if you notice any bits which are missing just uh, you know you can always add them so it's never too late so you can see I'm all there, I'm all in focus. Then what you do is just click on this button here. And then what, what that basically is going to do is it's going to just click, it's going to track all this. Sorry, it's not that one, it's this one, sorry. 
So you can see now it's counting down the frame. So each frame, each movement, what it does, each movement that it's doing is tracking every single one bit by bit. So we're just gonna like uh, wait, wait for that to, uh, you know, we're just gonna wait for that to uh, track. So, you know, the longer the clip, you know, the more, the more, uh, you know, the tracking is gonna take a bit of time. So just keep that in mind, guys. So once that's uh, done, just gonna stop right. I just, I might actually just uh, forward this uh, video. Hey guys, so now that that's done, uh, let's have a look. Let's go back and have a look at that. Now there is just a few couple of things I want to say. So notice how the end bit tracked alone. That's because the uh, top track was longer than the uh, the clip at the bottom. Now if that's the case, if, if you are in the uh, situation where your top uh, track is longer than the bottom, then don't panic. It's simple, all you gotta do is just drag that down and shorten it so it's equal. You know, that's all, so don't panic. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. And the other thing is, I wanted to point out, so if you look closely at this clip here, now notice when I sit down, that look at that, can you see the mobile, the mobile phone in my hand is, uh, it's not been there, can you see that? It's not been, uh, is invisible so don't panic again it's very simple if you are in a situation like that what it is the uh, tracking struggle sometimes because it was a low light shot so if it's a low light shot it tends to uh, struggle a bit so here's the solution and believe me it's very easy all you gotta do is again make sure the uh, plus sign is selected and then you go over it and there can you see how it's bought it back there can you see it's just bought it back so again look at the arm so again what i do is i go into there color over it and there you go you see how easy that was guys let's go back and there you go again look do you see that because it's the reason why it struggles is because it's a, a low light shot you see so this is why maybe if you're in a you know, in your, if you're in a well-lit area, if you're in a high bit sort of area, then it'll probably do it properly. But I'm just making you guys aware of that because, you know, don't think it's too late. You know, don't think it's too late only because it hasn't uh, tracked it. So, yeah. What it is, you've got to give it a few, a good few tries. Do you see that there, guys? So that, that's what this uh, pen tool is for. That's what it's actually for. It highlights all. The, and another thing I, f I forgot to mention. So each time, say like if I go over here, each time you bring a part uh, down, can you see what goes on here? You're creating more strokes. So that's another thing to be aware of. So now I'm on 20 strokes. If I go like this, now it's about 21. So that's another thing you need to be aware of. So the more strokes you put, the more it creates. But yeah, that's how you bring it back. So let's let's just uh, let's just have a look at the uh, final uh, product right now. Yeah. So there you go, guys. It was uh, easy peasy, simple as that. Now also notice, also notice. Uh, you know, I'm actually holding the mobile in both in both uh, scenes just for this tutorial purpose but what i want you guys to do is just get creative with it so i'm you know i could be sort of like playing with my phone in one uh, scene and on the right uh, left scene i could be like reading a book or you know you can even sort of like have them both talk to each other so but if you want them talking to each other make sure your audio levels are still showing so that's another thing but yeah just use your mind and get creative with this guys um i've also done it here on a different scene i might i might have uh, i might have actually 
there here. I've done this in another scene. So you can get creative with it, you know, just use your imagination. But if you guys any have, have any questions, you know, just pop them in the comment box below and I'll uh, answer them. But yeah, have fun enjoying this because, you know, it was very creative. You can use it in your cinematic videos and whatnot. Well, yeah, guys, uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It always helps. And smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.